Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I've been uh, getting these clapboards from out in that building. They've been sitting there for two years, and they're still wet enough that I don't dare to do anything with them. And uh, of course, I got a lot of them like this that, you know, I'm cutting into my stickings because they're frigged up so bad. But I wanted to show you this here. I ran out of fuel, and I didn't have any gas to the house here, so I, instead of cranking everything down, I thought, well, I had gone in and backed it up just a few inches, so I knew I could start the blade again. But I was about an hour and a half, two hours before I got back and put the stuff to it, and then it rusted and stained that that quick. It was on a hot, humid day, and of course the wood was humid. Saw was hot when it stopped. It was just, you know, but it's amazing. Can't leave a saw in the wood. It doesn't matter if you have to turn the ab of a hand, you know. I learned something there. So, anyway, I'll, uh, nothing really exciting on the farm here. Just trying to get this stuff in. And uh, then in a month or so, after it's been in here in a nice dry climate, hopefully I'll be able to plane it. Um, some of it stained. You can see some of the stain, but that's all sapwood, actually. If it doesn't have sapwood, um, this is where the ones with sapwood were. That stain and mold will carry on to the next one, but that'll plane right off. So, anyway, yeah, sapwood sucks. But we'll uh, keep on stacking. Well, I finally got these bricked up so that the air will go through them. There's uh, 207 clapboards right here. And then there's a whole pile of junk ones here. These here, you can see that shaky right down through and it's not wide enough to get a clapboard. Um, but I'm still gonna keep, another one here shaky. I'm still gonna keep a couple inches of these. I'm gonna rip them off and uh, you know, be good riffs on lumber. Probably can finish a piece five eighths of an inch thick by two. Good crafts or something, you know, good quality stuff. That one there, of course, we got at it with a chainsaw, getting some steel out. Plus, it'd been shot with a 22. But uh, yeah, I was almost all day getting that done. We're trying to get ready for the big storm. So we've got uh, John Deere beer, got that in the shed today. Of course, it's pouring out right now. We've got almost an inch of rain already today. But uh, yeah, everything's good. We all, we got to, um, before the storm, we got to get a trailer put away and move some stuff over at the greenhouse. And I got a piece of plastic that's kind of not right. We're going to fix that tomorrow. And uh, I think we'll be ready for the storm. So for everybody out there that's going to have to deal with this storm up in New England, take care, pick up all your lawn stuff, everybody. And, uh, stay inside and keep safe. Anyway, <clears throat> sawdust getting to me. But uh, yeah, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe, guys. Talk to you later.